Ah, he's biting me. He's biting me. Ah. Hey guys, my name's Nick and welcome back to Surgeon Simulator. It's been some time since I played. Last time we established that Nigel was a bit of a substance abuser. So he needed some time to get some help and get that sorted out. How did that go, Nigel? <laughs> right, so still kind of working on that. But today, we're doing the teeth surgery, teeth transplant. Now, that is my field of expertise, being a dentistry student and all that. So I've really been looking forward to this one. I've never done it before, but let's see if my knowledge on the subject will help us out here. Right, so uh, here's Bob. Hi, Bob who is now wearing a mask just like with the eye surgery the one time you don't need a thing like that they put it on so we'll have to get that off right over here we have uh we have the teeth over there which i'll look at in a second i'm actually curious to see if these are accurate and of course the hammer of course everyone knows hammer the dentist most important tool as uh, with the eyebrow trimmer spoon of course very important can we Over here, we have some actual dentistry equipment. I'm guessing most people are familiar with seeing these little hook things uh, at the dentist. And to patients, those things always look very intimidating. And I can tell you right now that they're not. I'm turning off the music because I, it's really distracting. Ah, oh, peace and quiet. But anyway, so here we have on the left, the little mirror, which is uh, kind of a pain to use at first. Of course everyone can use a mirror but the point is sometimes you have to do things in the mouth and the only way to see things is using the mirror and if you are using tools you have to understand that left and right in the mirror are reversed which is very confusing and can be quite difficult to learn to work with and to the left of the mirror we have the scaler which is used to remove calculus. I think that's called in English, calculus, right? So it looks like a very mean tool, but all it does is it, it removes the calculus from your teeth. Uh, think of it like a razor. The razor is also very intimidating at first, but then you realize that all it does is cut the hairs, not the skin. So when used properly, that thing is really nothing to fear. And then the two next to that, this one on the right, that's also a scaler, but to go a lot deeper, that can be a little intimidating because well it's not the most pleasant experience when that is necessary uh this one i'm not quite sure what that is right, let me grab it what are you it doesn't have any kind of hook or something on it i don't think this is a proper dentist tool or i'm missing something maybe i'm not looking at it at the right angle or something or is it just a little scalpel that that might be it won't let me cut Oh, there. Uh, I think this might be a regular scalpel. So, pretty fun that those are there, but we're missing the most important tool. The dentist's biggest friend isn't here. It's called the pocket probe, and it's what you use to measure the condition of the tooth gums. And it's not here. Uh, that's a little weird. Then again, we've already established that the teeth are no good, and we need to perform surgery teeth transplant i don't think that's ever been done before so nigel has the premiere on this one because uh well nerves are inside the teeth and they don't really grow back if you just put in a new teeth so bob are you ready oh oh bob is ready look look at him just uh, he's completely relaxed like who gets a full anesthetic while going to the dentist right no one Bob is just so confident in our skills that he decided to relax and take a nap while we do our work. Well, that is a wise choice, Bob, because we are going to perform miracles today. Let's remove the rest of this mask and see what we're dealing with. There we go. What do we think? Oh, Bob, what a mustache. Well, now we know what the trimmer is here for. Yeah, that 1-2 one, and 1-3, one, they don't look too good. And in the bottom, we have the 3-3. Three, three. is not looking too well. Right, important business first. Let's work on that mustache. Yeah, many people don't know that Nigel is actually a barber um, as, as his uh, evening job. And you're wondering, why does an incredible surgeon like Nigel needs a, need an evening job? Well, he doesn't. He just does it because he can. 
because he's Nigel and he's awesome. Either that or you just need something to pay for all those male practice lawsuits. Well, uh, that's enough of that. I'm bored now. <laughs> So how are we gonna get those teeth out? Like the picture showed us using the hammer, but here it quite clearly shows that not all the teeth are in bad condition. So I'm thinking maybe use that little hammer over there. Also, let's have a look at the, the new teeth. Are they in any way accurate of actual teeth? Now the resolution is not optimal here, but from what I can tell, those look like accurately shaped teeth. Like I can clearly tell that those on the left are the molars. And I'm guessing the ones in the middle are the incisors and the cusps are on the right. Also, I'm sorry if some of my terms aren't correct. I'm used to doing this stuff in Dutch, obviously. So I might be mistranslating some things into English. So can you just pull the teeth out individually? That would be great, because I don't want to ruin the good teeth. I kind of doubt we can do that. Let's just knock them out with a hammer. Like I can confirm every dentist does this. That Hammer, definitely the best way to remove teeth. It's not like they have deep roots that are bedded into the bone structure. Well, that one also needed to go, right? Oh, that, that is a front incisor we shouldn't have taken out. I think I've only knocked out good teeth so far. Well, that's one of them. And that's two. Uh, maybe the one behind that as well, but <laughs> they're perfect. There we go. Oh. A few extra teeth, but we can just put new ones in, right? Now, Bob, I need you to swallow. Okay, fine, we'll get the garbage out. <laughs> there we go. It's beautiful. I'm starting to miss the music, though. So I think we need to start with a molar in the back. So can I accurate accurately determine whether or not this is a top or bottom one bring it to the camera i think that's a bottom one do we need any of those i don't think i knocked any of those out no i think we're good we don't need this one but do we have any for the top then i think that's a cusp i'm not sure well now it's nothing get another molar uh this looks a bit more like a top one Although it kind of looks like one of the back ones, but sure. Close enough, right? No, not there. Oh, that is not in the right place. Can we get that out? Ah, oh, yes, this is Nigel's famous uh, mobile hammer grip. Oh, oh, now I'm knocking out more teeth. That's not good. Knock out the that one. Are you seriously not letting me knock that out? Right, so I've knocked out every teeth apart from that one. Oh, that's ridiculous. Why can't I knock out the teeth that I put in? Hey, so learn something. New teeth are indestructible. I'm guessing these are some kind of special synthetic crowns then. So let's just uh, put him out of his misery and start again. And sedate the patient. Yeah, this is uh, our dentistry philosophy. If you don't succeed, just try again on the next patient. There we are. And we're back in with a bit of music this time. That should really help keep me focused. I really, I really think that's where we went wrong last time. No music. Oh no, don't you start with me. Just cut the thing. Cut it. Cut. Oh, you were doing so well earlier. Just, <laughs> God damn it. Just cut the mask. There we are. I've hit it like 10 times already. It's Bob, why do you make me angry? Bob, Bob, look at me. It I'm sorry, Bob. I, I can never stay mad at you. You're my type, Bob. AB negative, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bob, what are you doing? B Bob, oh, whoa. What is happening right now? Okay, I figured this would work as a precision tool. It does not, because I don't think it does anything. Ah, he's biting me. He's biting me. Ah. And open the things. There. Oh yeah, Bob, show me those moves. Drill, can you go away? Your noise is annoying me. I don't need you anymore, Drill. That is not a secure guy. Let go. There. Oh, what a move, Nigel. If we go from the right, it should be fine. I don't think we need any cusps on the right. I may have put some top incisors at the bottom, which I shouldn't have. <laughs> he picks them up, but then he drops them again. Why do you do that? 
Oh. Yeah, we definitely need a cusp on the right there. One more incisor on between the front ones. There. Oh, that's perfect. I, I'm not sure what language it is, but I think it says grinters as in grinders. It's definitely not English, nor Dutch. Oh, if we get a D now, I'm going to be so disappointed. Look, look at how beautiful those teeth are lined up. There! A D! Wow! Every time! I will not stand for this! Oh, we have one over here. Let's grab this one because those other ones are uh, in a difficult spot. Like a beaker is uh, kind of an obstacle for Nigel. And... Boom! We'll leave your fabulous mustache this time and just focus on the teeth for now. Oh, we actually got one. Just need to get... Oh, we got it! We actually got the bad teeth this time. Just one more. If can you just get that one? Oh, then this is gonna be beautiful. I think I got it. I got it! Oh, perfect. Oh, this is going to be the cleanest tooth transplant ever. Mainly because it's the only one ever done. Because no one's crazy enough except for Nigel. And these opened up so easily last time. Okay, let's give him a syringe so he doesn't bleed out while I struggle with opening the things. Why are you so difficult? Let's open the thing, come on! <laughs> there! Okay, so we need one cusp, the ones on the right there, and two of those. Or three maybe, because I knocked out in one extra. Although that might be a cusp. Okay, so we need two of each. Two of each, that's it. And then the real tricky bit will be to place them in the right spots. Right, let's start with one of those. So we're aiming for the top left here, or top right, because you should always describe things as in the pa patient's perspective. There! It's, it's not entirely angled right, but some braces will sort that out. Get you in the top there. Oh, beautiful. It's even lined up properly. Like, it's not perfect, but... Uh, well, he already needs braces at this point, so... We can sort that out. And this one's gonna be a bit tricky. Because an incisor and a cusp right next to each other. Oh, this surgery is easy, I realize. We have no blood loss. We have all the time we, can, we need for this. Or it's just me, you know? Uh, dentistry skills, like... Oh, this surgery, no problem. Right, so we need to put this one on the right. So I'm thinking if we just approach it very carefully from the right, then we minimize the chances of it going into the left spot. Oh, this is going to end horribly. What? Well, it's in, apparently. Oh, that was the bad one. And the one that's still missing is the good one, I'm guessing. But we got an A! Oh, three years of dentistry school really paying off here. So that was over a little quickly, but we do have a new floppy disk. And I also noted we had a little tape here that wasn't there before. So we'll check that out in a second, but first we'll do the floppy disk. The best part of the game. Hello? Oh. Uh, no, no, Nigel, I, I'm feeling much better after the surgery yesterday, but... Oh, great. I'm not sure I should be able to see the inside of my own ribcage. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Uh, call your physician? So, can I actually flick this across the room for once? Line it up and go! One of these days... Oh, oh this is a good position though. Just... And... Careful... Go! There we go! Oh, that is a new record! There we are. Oh, we have to use the hammer for the eyes? Really? How? I don't get that. And of course the scalpel to cut them loose. Why do we get the eyes now? We did the eyes last time and we did get this floppy disk. Now let's check out this thing. We just grab the lid. I don't know how this works. This is technology from before my time. I know it has to open somehow, but how? 
Like my guess would be this button on the left there. I press that and the thing opens, but it doesn't. Oh, that, yeah, there we go, the blue button. Right, then what does the left button do? Is that the power button or something? I don't know anything about this freakish technology. There. Oh, oh, <laughs> my finger's stuck. Come on. <laughs> uh, let go. No. Oh, go careful, careful. Wait, is that just playing the music? Apparently it is. Is that all? Oh, that's about enough of you. How do I stop this thing? Oh, we didn't get a different song. Oh, I, I, I want you to stop. Pause, please. Press the blue one. If it opens, it will surely stop. Yeah. So that was the teeth transplant. Well, it went really smoothly. Like my training clearly showed here. It was a bit easier compared to the other ones, to be honest. So kind of weird that that one is last, but I suppose that's because it was added later. And that now means we've done all five of the surgeries. Hi. Alright then, Nigel, it's your dad. Hi dad. Later dad. Much love. Bye. Oh, what a nice guy. Now where was I? Alright, so now that we've done all the surgeries, we've unlocked a new mode, which is uh, this one. Now location corridor basically it's the same surgeries but with added difficulty we'll literally just be running through a corridor and we have to get our tools as they pass by i think that's how it works but we'll have to check that out next time for now i'm gonna go celebrate because i have proven myself an a student thank you very much for watching and see you guys in another video bye guys so I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did you can click up here to watch some more or you can click down here to watch me open up some Pokemon cards. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.